Good afternoon, all of you. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Okay, today uh, let's continue with our next concept uh, related with the unit second. Last time we have seen the ethical and the social issues related with the information technology and the system. <clears throat> so today our point of discussion is. security and control uh, related with the information system or uh, the you can also say information system security and the control okay so all of us already know what exactly mean by the information system okay number of times we have discussed so information the term information system is nothing but the system which describe the organized collection processing distribution or the transmission spreading of information according with some rules or the procedures okay that information system number of times we have discussed now our today's point of discussion is about the security and control in case of the information system okay so what do you mean by the security of information system what is mean by the security of information system yes what is mean by the security of information system security in the sense sir sir manje ata hi cyber crime wagaira hacking wagaira hota tar te to protect against that particular crime, crime. what what different protective measures can be taken or the security measures can be taken so security related with the information system is nothing but the some policies in the sense some rules procedures or some technical measures for what purpose to prevent the unauthorized access as well as to prevent the unauthorized alteration alteration in the sense to prevent the unauthorized change or to prevent the theft as well as to prevent the physical damage to the information system we need the security point as a uh, related with the information system security of the information system is uh, required for in order to if you want to avoid all these things like preventing the unauthorized access preventing the unauthorized change unauthorized change in the sense nobody can do the modification in the data and information of that particular information system without any permission theft in the sense okay koi aapki information chura information system chura bhi sakta hai understood to prevent that kind of things physical damage physical damage of information system means what what do you mean by the physical damage yes Phys physical damage to the information system yes akash what is mean by the physical damage to the information system yes anybody else what do you mean by the physical damage to information system um devices ha ah, yes vaishali sir manje ata traditional information system madhe apan register ete ta use karto hm tar te ta ते प्रिवेंट करते फिजिकल डैमेज सर म्हणजे आपण ते रजिस्टर 
कॉम्प्युटरच फिजिकल डॅमेज होऊ शकत नाही का डिवाइसेस आपल्या कॉम्प्युटर मधल्या कॅन बी गेट हार्डिक्स वगैरे चोरी पण जाऊ शकतो ना अंडरस्टूड सो टू प्रोटेक्ट अगेन्स्ट ऑल दीज थिंग टू प्रोटेक्ट अगेन्स्ट ऑल दीज थिंग नीड ऑफ वॉट सिक्युरिटी अंडरस्टूड अँड सिक्युरिटी नथिंग बट वॉट युजिंग सम रुल्स प्रोसिजर टेक्निकल मेजर्स इन द सेन्स टेक्निकल मेजर्स इन द सेन्स वॉट युटिलायझेशन ऑफ सम अँटीवायरस दिस काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स गॉट द पॉइंट टू प्रिव्हेंट द अनऑथराइज ऍक्सेस अल्ट्रेशन थ्रेट एक्सेट्रा एक्सेट्रा दॅट इज नथिंग बट द security of the information system okay got this point what do you mean by the security yes sir okay control control of information system now there are the multiple uh, security measures are available in the market okay like firewall is there antiviruses are there crypt- cryptographic methods are there that we are going to discuss in the point of the control okay but particular organization is utilizing which kind of different measures which kind of different methods it is not it it cannot be happen like that particular organization uh, may utilize all the security measures available understood some uh, organization may use some limited uh, security measures etc etc so what what particular organization or wh- which kind of different methods being utilized by particular organization which rules are utilized by particular organization organizational procedure etc etc to ensure the safety of organization asset to ensure the safety of organization asset as well as to ensure the accuracy of data and information of that information system accuracy or the reliability of that particular number of records that is being kept on the information system etc etc understood so daily daily checking all these rules and the security measures procedures for what purpose to ensure the safety of all the asset all the asset in the sense in the asset different things comes like human resources come uh, computer system comes different softwares comes machineries comes data comes information comes all the things are comes under the asset now what kind of measures are being utilized by particular organization for the safety of all these asset and whether organization is daily monitoring all these safety measures that is nothing but the control related with the information system understood so in detail we are going to discuss what are the security measures and what can be the different controls can be uh, utilized so that Uh, we can protect the information system from uh, different kind of viruses and the unauthorized access okay now next important point here is the basic principles of the uh, information security or which can be also uh, described in another words like why the security is required or why the security is important security of security of what security of the information system okay first reason in that or first basic principle is that the confidentiality what confidentiality means what what do you mean by the confidentiality related to the information system hmm म्हणजे सर आपला डेटा हा सेफ आहे असं कॉन्फिडन्स हा हा आपला डेटा सेफ कधी राहील सपोज देर इज अ वन एक्स वाय झेड ऑर्गनायझेशन त्या एक्स वाय झेड ऑर्गनायझेशनचा डेटा सेफ कधी राहील की ज्या वेळेस तो डेटा ऍक्सेस करण्यासाठी काय सम सम पर्सन आर बिंग गेट ऑथराइज यू आर गेटिंग माय पॉईंट ओनली धोज विल अलाउड टू ऍक्सेस डेटा हु आर हॅव्हिंग द ऑथराइज परमिशन only that time only our data can remain safe yes or no yes yes sir if we allow anybody to access the data whether that employees belong to your organization or not then will our data will remain confidential or the safe will our data or the information will remain safe or not if you allow anybody to 
utilize your information system no no that is the thing so that is nothing but the first basic principle and that is the first reason why the security is important that is what for the purpose of confidentiality so this principle says what this principle is applied to the information by enforcing or applying by applying rules about who is allowed to utilize the information system so this basic principle ensure that who are allowed to utilize the information system and who are not allowed to utilize the information system understood and because of this principle using this principle it become possible to prevent the unauthorized disclosure of information means those who are not having the permission because of this principle it become possible to prevent them from opening that information or prevent them from utilizing that information okay so this prevent the unauthorized confidentiality principle does what it prevent the unauthorized disclosure of information and restrict the data access to only those who are authorized and restrict the data access to only those who are having the permission to utilize that particular information which is available on the information system got the first principle confidentiality yes sir yes sir yes sir okay second important principle is the integrity what integrity now this integrity is related with what now here we have discussed who is being who is allowed to utilize that information which is there on the information system okay only who those who are authorized understood now another thing related with the information system is what who is allowed to do the modification in the information system you are getting my point who is allowed to do the modification in the data or the information which is present in the information system understood because data and the information which is available on the information system it is very important understood so can we allow anybody to do the modification in that data and the information of the information system yes can we allow anybody to do the modification in the data and the information of the information system no no sir no. if we allow anybody then anybody can do the any changes they they want then we'll get the we'll get the correct result from the information system no we'll definitely not get the correct result from the information system so integrity principle refer to what it refer to the prevention of unauthorized modification what integrity principle ensure what prevention of unauthorized modification if there is a need to do the changes in the data and the information of the information system though only who can do it those is having the authorized permission got the point yes sir yes and that only i have yes, here in any business organization which are utilizing the information system the value of data store and information store and manipulated such as maintaining the data and information is very important issue of the concern and in order to address this issue it is necessary that organization should allow only those person who are having the authorized permission to do the modification so that is nothing but the point of what integrity okay then third important principle is the availability third important principle is what availability now availability is refer to the uh, fact that accessibility of the information and in the usable form whenever and wherever it is required availability indicates what the suppose if any xyz manager of the company need to utilize the information system he need to access the information which is available on the information system he should able to access that information available on the information system whenever and wherever it is required what do you mean by the whenever and the wherever the authorized permission authorized persons or the employee should get accessibility of the information whenever and wherever it is required what do you mean by the whenever and the wherever 
कधी पण आणि कुठे कधी पण आणि कुठे पण काय झालं पाहिजे ऍक्सेसिबिलिटी ऑफ इन्फॉर्मेशन मिळाली पाहिजे कुणाला धोज हु आर ओनली द ऑथराइज परमिशन or the persons understood so that is nothing but the point of what availability ki information je user authorized ahet tanna information kadi hi ani kute hi available jhali pahije that is nothing but the third principle related with the security of information system that is what availability jar security vyavasthit maintain jhali nahi tar ha principle maintain hoil ka availability cha एनीबडी कॅन ब्रीज द सिक्युरिटी डू द मॉडिफिकेशन डू समथिंग इन दॅट इन्फॉर्मेशन सिस्टीम अँड दॅट सिस्टीम माईट बी माईट गेट फेल येस ऑर नो देन विल इट बिकम पॉसिबल फॉर एनीबडी फॉर ऑथराइज पीपल टू ऍक्सेस द इन्फॉर्मेशन ऑन द इन्फॉर्मेशन सिस्टीम वेन एव्हर अँड द व्हेर एव्हर नो इट विल नॉट बिकम पॉसिबल सो दॅट इज द रिझन द पॉइंट वाय द इन्फॉर्मेशन सिक्युरिटी इज must and why it is required so these three principles are very important which is clearly which is clearly indicating why there is a need of the information system security which three principle we have discussed confidence confidentiality then integrity integrity and availability, availability. what is been by the confidentiality confidentiality means what protect the data from unauthorized user manje jana je those user having the authorized permission only allow those users to utilize the information system second integrity related with the modification when the authorized persons are allowed to do the modification and availability the information must be get available to authorized users whenever and the wherever it is required i hope the point is clear yes yes sir okay yes so, sir now let's come to the another points related with the security okay that is the actual point of our discussion so you know to discuss that further points we need to understand the conventional crime versus the cyber crime okay first we will discuss what do we mean by the crime what is your definition of the crime what do you think about the crime tell me hmm crime is what unwanted thing anything that is unwanted and which is against the law yes or no Yes, yes sir that is the call we can call so in case of both of this conventional crime and the cyber crime both of these crime include the conduct or action or behavior which is causing the breaching of the rule of the law so any conduct any behavior or any action which is against the law that is being referred as a crime completely all of you are agree yes sir yes and such kind of crimes are being counterbalanced or controlled by some sanctioning of the some state and the condition and sanctioning of the some rules where if anybody does the crime there is the law is available to punish those who have done the crime okay so if you go specifically like the what is mean by the conventional crime now crime is available from the time the human society comes into the picture yes or no crime is there when from the time whenever the there is a origin of the human beings and other animals etc etc correct or not yes sir yes so another in the another words we can describe the conventional crime now conventional crime in the sense there is a no involvement of any uh, computer or the electronic devices etc etc conventional crime manje he je apan bagto between human to human that kind of things i am here referring as a conventional crime okay so in different words i have mentioned here the crime or the offense is the legal wrong activity that is being followed by the criminal proceeding which may result into the proceeding it is the legal wrong activity if somebody does it then he has to face the 
punishment. So that is nothing but the conventional crime. Now let's come to the cyber crime. Okay. Now we can describe the cyber crime in the different ways. Here I have tried to define, uh, describe it in the one better way. Cyber crime defined as unlawful act, unlawful or the act which is against the law. Cyber crime defined as the unlawful act wherein the computer or computer like digital devices are being utilized as a tool or target or both. What do you mean by it? Cyber crime is defined as the unlawful act or the act which is against the law where the computer or computer like devices are utilized as a tool or target or both means what? What is the meaning? Computer machines are used for target kela dato. हाँ मंजे तुम्ही हे क्राइम कशे तुम्ही कंप्यूटर यूज करूँ करूँ शक्ता करेक्ट जावे साशे क्राइम कंप्यूटर यूज करूँ केले जाते त्यावे स्थित काय होता कंप्यूटर बीइंग यूटिलाइज्ड आज अ टूल ऑल ऑफ योर एग्री यस सर इन द क्राइम इज डन यूजिंग द यूजिंग द कंप्यूटर देन दैट टाइम दैट कंप्यूटर इज एक्ट एज Computer is utilized to do the crime against another computer. You are getting my point. Then at that time, yes. that another computer is a, is a target, correct? Yes, sir. Yes. One computer is a tool and another computer as a target. That's why here the word utilized as a both. Understood? So any crime which is being done utilized by done by utilizing the computer or computer like uh, like computer like devices like mobiles also comes uh, in that category okay laptop uh, okay whatever the other devices are there notepad etc anything which is uh, acting as like the computer so that is nothing but the cyber crime all of you got this point what do you mean by the cyber crime yes yes sir okay. Now, let's see the different reasons uh, for the cyber crime. Okay, why the cyber crime happens and the different reasons for that. So we have already discussed the concept of the law is says humans beings are vulnerable. So there are the rules to, so there are the rules of the law are required to protect that. To protect that in the sense to protect the human being. Now tell me the meaning of this statement. Human beings are vulnerable. As a human beings are vulnerable, that is the reason there is a need of some law, there is a need of some rules so that the protection of the human being will happen. So that the human, will, human being will get protected. Hmm. Yeah. You tell me the meaning of this statement. Human beings are vulnerable. I already told you the meaning of vulnerable. Hmm. Vulnerable means what? Yes. Asurakshit. Asurakshit means that we can easily attack Karushakta. Something to which you can easily attack or you can easily do damage. Consider Kara, there is a one human, there is a one human which is poor, which is less powerful and there is another human which is rich, most powerful. Now there is a huge probability that this human, this human can kill this human. Let be specific. Yes or no? You have, yes, to, you have to imagine. Means this human is vulnerable. Yes or no? Yes. Sir. Yes. Now to protect this human, which which this human, there is a need of the rule of the law. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes. Now same concept is being applied related with the cyber press. 
as human beings are vulnerable it can be get attacked by another human beings and damage can be done to that there is a rules of law are available to protect the human beings in the similar way in the cyber space we can say that computers are also vulnerable yes or no yes sir now computers are having the danger from the human beings also from the another computers also correct yes sir and that is the reason rule of law is required and requ uh, rule of law is required to protect and safeguard the computers against the cyber crime to safeguard the computer in the sense to safeguard the loss of the owner of that computer also yes or no yes sir yes sir okay now what we are going to discuss what are the different reasons what are the different reasons because of which the uh, computers are become computers have become the vulnerable understood here i have just told you regarding if you compare this human being and this human being why this human being become the vulnerable because it is less powerful it is poor yes or no sir yes sir sir so same kind of reason we have to discuss here why computers are become the vulnerable okay first and most important point there reason for that that is the capacity to store the data in the computer uh, comparatively small space first reason because of which the computer become the vulnerable first is what capacity to store data in comparatively small space now you tell me about this okay the two two way discussion must be there tell me the meaning of this uh, point capacities to first reason you sir manje computer madhi kam space asti ani samja kai find karay lage sir karun bhet lage sapadu shakto barobar na hard disk fakt hard disk madhi tar data thavla you are getting my point so that is the first reason capacity to store the data in comparatively small space the computer has a unique characteristic of storing the data in very small space understood जर तुम्हारा संगित कि फाइंड आउट समथिंग विच इज केप्ड इन द एस एन टी कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग बिल्डिंग एंड इफ सम अनदर स्टूडेंट इज बीइंग टोल्ड फाइंड आउट समथिंग विच इज केप्ड इन द सेकंड इयर कंप्यूटर क्लास हु विल फाइंड इट मोस्ट इजीली एंड फास्टली सेकंड स्टूडेंट यस और नो यस सर बिकॉज ही हैज टू जस्ट सर्च इन द लिमिटेड एरिया सो सेम इज द थिंग रिलेटेड टू द कंप्यूटर ऑल्सो as the space available capacity to uh, store the data is very uh, the space is that's very less and small because of that the computer has become vulnerable so because of this it become possible and easy to remove or get the information or fetch the fetch the information either through the physical or virtual medium make it more easier what do you mean by through the physical or the virtual medium what is mean by through uh, removing or fetching the information through the physical medium or through the virtual medium means cloud made store karu shakto data apan in ha point read karto because of this it become possible and easy to remove or fetch the information either through the physical medium or through the virtual medium medium we are discussing in the medium kuta store kelay te jau de removing through some medium removing through physical medium manje kay apan physically tithe jaun to kya computer cha data remove karu shakto kiwa copy karu shakto got the point yes sir ani virtually manje kay tithe na jata is it possible yes sir yes Yes, if, if that computer is internet connected we can through the some viruses etc etc we can access the data from that computer so that uh, important term for that is the hacking yes or no uh, yes sir yes so that is this point so that is the first reason i hope all of you have got a clear point what do we mean by the uh, the first reason that is because of the small space okay second second important complex structure of the computer because of that also the computer has become the vulnerable 
complex structure of the computer means what now here the complex structure of the computer in the sense now you can see we cannot run the computer without the operating system okay we need the operating system to work anything on the computer or to start the computer now that operating system is collection of the huge amount of code yes or no operating yes, system is sir. what collection of the huge amount of code and uh, because of that what happen uh, the normal user cannot understand all these thick all these things the code and etc etc yes or no yes sir normal user cannot understand all these things forget about the every time the software engineer or the computer engineer is utilizing the computer it is not like that anybody is utilizing the computer correct yes sir so it can happen from the normal user ki he may he may click on some particular uh, link okay or he may uh, allow some unwanted software to be get installed on the computer कधी कधी असं होत असं तुम्ही बघितलं असेल की असे सॉफ्टवेअर तुमच्या कम्प्युटरवर इन्स्टॉल झाले असतात की जे तुम्ही इन्स्टॉल केलेलेच नाहीत येस ऑर नो येस सो द सायबर क्रिमिनल्स आर हॅव इवन द नॉर्मल युजर्स आर नॉट हॅव्हिंग द कम्प्लीट नॉलेज ऑफ कोडिंग ऑफ द ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम बट सायबर क्रिमिनल्स आर हॅव्हिंग द कम्प्लीट नॉलेज ऑफ कोडिंग ऑफ दॅट ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम येस ऑर नो येस सर that is that because of that the cyber criminals can the advantage of that lacuna or that kind of thing and he can penetrate in our computer system he can penetrate in our computer system in the sense he can uh, he can make entry on in our computer system and he can do the damage to the information which is stored on the computer system because of the less knowledge available to the normal user normal user number of times even not uh, what we can say even not install the antivirus softwares also yes or no yes correct and because of this this kind of things can be uh, happen okay from the normal users because you don't have the complete knowledge of the operating system or the that computers and th that advantage can be taken from the cyber criminals understood so that is the second reason complex structure of the computer which is not completely understood by the normal user ani mag tyacha kadun kai tari chuka hou shaktat ani tya zalela chukancha gair fayda kon geto mag cyber criminals understood so that is the uh, second reason okay let's come to the third negligence okay negligence now negligence is always there with the behavior of the human or the conduct of the human understood now what can be the negligence uh, can put your computer system into the danger and the some information which is put you know uh, which is available on your computer system can be put in the danger because of the negligence of the human being or the negligence of the particular uh, user now let me tell you the better example related to the negligence Uh, while protecting the computer system one of the uh, better example of that is nothing but the password set by the user yes or no yes password set apan kay karto kadhi kadhi kay 1 2 3 4 5 asa password takun deto hota ka nahi asa baraj vais yes correct yes sir so that is also be the negligence to set the strong password correct or not yes so if you if you yes. set the weak password then that is nothing but the help to that cyber criminal to gain the access and control over your computer system yes or no yes sir also if you are utilizing the information system on your computer now you know to utilize the information system which is being installed on the computer the authorized users are having their id password correct yes sir now if by mistake they forget to remove the id password from the cookies of your computer system web browser cookies madhe tumche id password save karta vicharta baka tumhala nahi mite do you want to save the password etc yes, have you sir. seen it yes sir yes, barabar mag japan kadhi kadhi asa ata ekajal mait nasta ki barabar aplyala mait apan we are the 
uh, always in the computer world so that's why we know about but some persons are don't know they used to say yes save it somewhere in the computer in the cookies etc you got the point and cyber criminal can easily get access to that kind of things which is being stored like id password etc so because that so that is the reason as a negligence so because of the negligence also the computer can become vulnerable yes or no yes sir yes sir okay that is the third point and last one loss of evidence loss of evidence that because of that also computers becomes the vulnerable what do you mean by the loss of evidence yes सर काय डॉक्युमेंट्स फोटोज जे आपल्या पीसी मध्ये सेव्ह असतील ते इरेज केले किंवा असं अटॅक नाही करून हा मग त्यांनी अटॅक करून ते इरेज केले बरोबर पण त्यांनी जो ज्यावेळेस अटॅक केला त्यावेळेस काहीतरी सिस्टीम कडे त्याची इन्फॉर्मेशन असू शकते की नाही हो सर बरोबर ना ती इन्फॉर्मेशन म्हणजे एव्हिडन्स होऊ शकते की नाही येस सर त्याचा लॉस तर त्याचा लॉस कधी होऊ शकतो त्या एव्हिडन्सचा होऊ शकतो की नाही आणि होऊ शकतो तर कधी होऊ शकतो सर त्याने व्हीपीएन किंवा मग दुसरे मॅक ऍड्रेस युज केले आणि ते डिस्ट्रॉय केले ते सिस्टीम तर ते झालं त्यांनी सगळं केलं आपली त्यांनी डेटा आपल्या कम्प्युटर मधून चोरी केला he has uh, access the confidential informant etc etc that is done par mag to kai tari purave tyache computer computer madhe tyache kai tari purave rahatil ki nahi rahu shaktat na ho sir te purave nasht honyache chances ahet ka ho shaktat ka de yes or no can the evidences can be lost from the computer yes sir yes lost ho sakta kadi karan aplya computer ka kay hota ki javes tumhi now if you try to get that evidence after the one month you got you got to know somebody has hack our system and has still the information you got to know it these things after the one month ओके तोपर्यंत आपल्या कॉम्प्युटरवरची इन्फॉर्मेशन काय होत असते डिस्ट्रॉय होऊन जाते की जे पुरावे होतात ते डिस्ट्रॉय होऊ शकतात रुटीनली दॅट इन्फॉर्मेशन कॅन बी गेट रुटीनली डिस्ट्रॉय अंडरस्टूड बिकॉज ऑलवेज वी यूज टू डिलीट समथिंग दॅट गेट स्टोअर इन द रिसायकल बिन ओके दॅट वी नो अँड यू कॅन रिस द डेटा विच इज देअर फ्रॉम द देअर इन द रिसायकल बिन यू कॅन रिकव्हर इट बरोबर बट इफ यू रिमूव इट फ्रॉम द रिसायकल बिन then also you can uh, recover it okay for your kind information the data which is which you have removed from the recycle bin that you that that also you can recover through the some software understood the one is the i can tell you the name recover software is there but that recovery is having some limitation okay what limitation it is having if that particular data which you have removed from the recycle bin okay that always used to be present in the bad sector of the hard disk okay but if that sector get rewrite you are getting what i'm saying if that part of the hard disk get rewrite then that data okay what i'm telling you i'm giving the example suppose you remove something from your computer now if don't if you remove just uh, by using the delete then it go to where recycle bin correct if you are not check it check it yes. barabar suppose from your computer if you remove delete something ye kuthe janar recycle bin madhe correct 
पण तुम्ही शिप डिलीट केलं तर ते रिसायकल बिन मध्ये जात नाही हा तुम्ही बघितलं असेल चेक करून बघा इफ यू इफ यू सिंपली डिलीट इट देन इट कॅन गो टू द रिसायकल बिन बट इफ यू डू द शिप डिलीट देन इट डझंट गो टू द रिसायकल बिन इट गेट डिलीट ऑटोमॅटिकली फ्रॉम द रिसायकल बिन ऑल्सो अँड इफ यू डिलीट द थिंग्स फ्रॉम द रिसायकल बिन ऑल्सो देन ऑल्सो दे आर युज टू बी प्रेझेंट ऑन द हार्ड डिस्क ओके फॉर युअर काइंड इन्फॉर्मेशन अँड यू कॅन रिकवर इट ऑल्सो बाय युजिंग सम सॉफ्टवेअर लाईक आय कॅन टेल यू द एक्झाम्पल हिअर रिकोवा सॉफ्टवेअर इज देअर बट whatever things you have deleted from the recycle bin also i said these things can be you can get from the hard disk but there is some limitation for that what limitation are there suppose this is the part of your hard disk and the data which you have removed from the recycle bin get stored somewhere here but number of times we used to store the daily we used to store the some kind of data on the uh, hard disk yes or no Yes, sir. If that data gets stored on this place is where your data which you are deleted from the recycle bin was present. If newly updated data from your side gets stored on this sector, then the data which is deleted from the recycle bin is get overwrite. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Then at that time, this data which is deleted from the recycle bin, it get permanently deleted. got the point yes sir and if that was your evidence if that was your evidence there is a chances of loss of evidence got the point yes sir because the data from our system routinely get destroyed correct or not yes routinely in the sense daily, daily data from our computer some kind of data from our computer used to be get destroyed understood or get deleted so that is nothing but the last point related with the reasons of vulnerability of the computer that is what loss of evidence and what it says loss of evidence is very common and the obvious problem as all the data are number of data being get destroyed routinely from our computer system and if such data get destroyed from our computer system then is it possible to do the crime investigation is it possible to do the crime investigation after data get destroyed from our computer system if evidence get destroyed no, no that because if, if that evidence get destroyed then the even the any crime expert cannot find anything on our system yes or no yes sir that is the why i have written here because of this loss of evidence it paralyzes the system for the crime investigation paralyze the system manje kay system aple we cannot get any any evidence from the system okay to find out who is criminal etc etc so these are the four important reasons because of which our computers becomes vulnerable what was the first reason of vulnerability of the computer first reason was what hmm what was the first reason because of which computer becomes the vulnerable capacity to store data in comparatively small space small space second complex structure complex structure complex structure which cannot be understood by the normal users then third negligence negligence and the last one that we have discussed loss of evidence from the computer system okay so uh, next we will uh, discuss the different ways using which uh, the crime can be done with the computers by the criminals by the cyber criminals okay that will be our next point in the uh security of the information system okay that we'll discuss uh, next time okay it is sufficient for the today's lecture yes shall we conclude yes sir yes sir okay thank you all of you thank you sir